Hallelujah. Amen. These girls came uh, last year, November. Uh, they were sent to deliver JDI, according to them. They were sent to, to destroy the ministry. As for me, ah, they gave me sleepless, sleepless night. Praise the Lord. Amen. We were casting and casting and casting forever until I found the man of God because it was too much for me. These girls are coming. They almost finished all the ministries in Secunda. They will tell you they went from one ministry to another without any problem. Giving demons from, from pastor to congregation until they came to Manzayo. Mount Zion is a place of deliverance, not a place of destruction. Mount Zion is a place of prosperity, deliverance, not a place of bondage. Hallelujah. They will tell you more that uh, by just looking at the person they can give, they could give people demons. By giving someone a sweet, a person can be a witch. You will hear more. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I took them because I have a father in the Lord by the grace of God. Uh, without him, I wouldn't be standing here. Uh, we thank God for sending him to South Africa. And uh, I, am, I am very proud to be a member of JDI. Are we all proud to be members of JDI? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. With me here I have Sister Sharon from Secunda. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, can you briefly tell us what was your job in Pass of Darkness? What was your department? What could you do? What were your powers? Thank you. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My position under the sea was I controlled Tegoloshis and I also controlled people's minds. Under especially, the sea? Yes, sir. Especially, uh, okay, especially. Okay, okay. You are not, you are not a diver or a swimmer. Or, but how can you say Maybe under the sea that. just like that? I mean, can you, can you explain to us how could you go to the sea? How did it happen that you found yourself there? Okay, sir. So, um, when I went to the sea, I would not see myself in the physical. I went there in spirit. My body would stay with wherever it was, doing what it was doing. People, where the people around me would, could not see what was happening. And I would go in spirit under the sea and do my job. How long will it take you to, to go to this? Because in Secunda, uh, to go to the coast, uh, you have to drive more than five hours. So you'd be any, any place, it will be more than... Uh, so how possible, how, how quick? Seconds, even one second, even half a second. How is it possible? By, how will you do it? How will you find yourself there? Um, so because whenever... be, 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 before you go to any place, maybe you buy a ticket. All right, all. So we want to know these things. So, like I said, um, every... All, we all know that every three hours the powers of darkness meet, right? And every three hours I would go to the powers of darkness, the meetings. And wherever I was, I would be there in the physical, but I would be in the, at the meetings in the spirit. Every three hours? Yes, sir. The man of God teaches us every day that every third hour we must pray. And if you don't pray at that time, you'll become a prey. Hallelujah. And all those three hours, when, when, I was, when my body was in the physical, I would always feel tired and sleepy because I was busy working in the spirit. Every time you, you travel, you come back, you feel that. Yes, and I believe there are people who are feeling like that. If you don't know what is happening, uh, this could be your problem. But you will be delivered in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell us more about your functions and your assignments and everything well sir the devil he's not stupid he's very clever he doesn't go for just anyone he he looks 
You see those girls over there, they're beautiful. All of them are beautiful. He doesn't go for just anyone because, number one, lust. He goes for especially girls because guys have lust. Just one look at those girls' pretty eyes or those luscious lips or that nice walk gets you instant demons, millions even, just by that no, no, no. one okay, look. Okay. By just looking, the person has not said anything to this lady, has not hugged the lady or kissed or anything. Nothing. Already the, the lady is giving the, the, the guy demons. Yes, sir. By just a look. Yes, sir. Mm. And a Tell smile. Tell us more. A smile. Yes, sir. When, when a person smiles back, mean that what, what is the meaning? If, 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 uh, uh, if you smile at that time, not now, and the person is smiling back, what is the meaning in the spirit? Sir, I, in the spirit, I, I wouldn't know, but sir, in my own knowledge, I know that when I smiled at someone, specifically a boy, sir, and they smiled back, they would like what they see, and, and you know, sir, they don't think, they just look and like what they see at that present time, they don't think long term, meaning they don't think of the, of the consequences that will come. Yo, hey, oh, sir, I loved smiling when I was in the powers of darkness. I smiled at everyone, even though I was feeling sad, I would smile. A beautiful smile, even. Mm. Ah, you say you used to control ticolosis. Can you tell us the types of ticolosis you know? So, um, when I, I didn't know when I was in the powers of darkness, but then I would have dreams about ticolosis. They would come in my dreams in every place that we've lived, me and my family. And I saw, I saw one particular one, so it was so short. It was lower than my knee, and it had red eyes, and it was black, 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 black. I couldn't see, you know, like a shadow. That's how it looked. It looked like a small shadow. You can't see the face. You can't see anything. You just see that black with the red eyes.